If you edit video or work with motion graphics, there's gonna be a time where you're no doubt gonna have to work with titles. So in this video, I wanna share with you 10 title animation techniques that can help you produce amazing minimalistic titles and also do it very fast. Before we jump over to After Effects, I do have a bonus tip. If you're new to typography, I highly suggest working with just one font. Only the reason why is because when you start mixing different fonts together, it's very easy to make your titles kind of amateur. So the font that I'm using primarily throughout this video is this font below. No, I'm not gonna pronounce it because I mispronounce fonts all the time and then I get called out for it. But if you're ready to get started, let's head over to After Effects. All right, we're gonna be looking at these four really cool minimal title designs with a handful of amazing techniques to help you speed along in your title designs. So the very first tip that I have when working with titles is alignment. So you should determine right away how you want your titles to be aligned. So you can grab all your textiles, layers, and go to the Align tab, and you should use one of these alignment icons to align your titles however you see fit. I'm gonna do a right align for this. So a lot of people like to keep titles in the center of the screen, which works most of the time. But let's say if you wanna do something unique, let's say I wanna just randomly move this to the bottom right of our composition. If you're gonna do something unique like this, you need to make sure that you draw the focus to the titles. And to do this, I'm gonna create this line animation, which is very easy to do. All I'm gonna do is come here to the top, grab the rectangle tool, make sure fill is set to none, click okay. So click on the word stroke, make sure it's set to solid color. And I'll use a stroke width about 25. And then all I'm gonna do is draw out this rectangle like so. And to remove the outline of the rectangle near our titles, all I'm gonna do is click on this tool creates mask and this will allow me to draw out a rectangle mask to highlight one area of that rectangle. Then I'll come here to the mask and set it to subtract. Okay, so now we have our design and it allows us to easily highlight these titles. So how can we quickly animate this? Well, we can animate any line very easily by going to add and add any trim paths. You open it up, set the end to say 0%. And then we can add a keyframe for end, move forward in time, set it to 100%. And one thing I wanna do is make sure that the line starts here on the right. So I'll come here to offsets and I'll just move that over to right there. And as always, if you've watched my videos, I always select my keyframes, hit F9 to make them easy, easy, and go to my graph editor. I always use the speed graph and I'll just select my keyframes, bring in the handles. And this will allow me to create a nice, unique animation. Now, when it comes to animating titles, I actually don't like doing this by hand anymore. I actually just like going to animation presets under the effects and presets window and go into text and go into animate in because in the 2023 version of After Effects, there's a lot more animation presets that can save me a lot of time. So for example, I can select slide in by line and apply it to one of my titles. And if I hit U twice on my keyboard, it'll bring up all the affected parameters. And we'll see that this title animates in from the left. But let's say I want this to animate in from the right. All I need to do is go to that position value and drag it over here to the right. And here's what we have. We can then take the keyframes, move them in so the animation will be a little faster. And then you can apply, you know, easy ease in any other in any other graph editor animation that you wish to apply. And then when we're done, we take our slide in by line preset, you copy it, and then you can paste it to the other two layers. And then you just offset these layers in time so they don't come in at the same exact moment. And here's what we have. Boom, boom, boom. It looks awesome. Moving on to our next title design, we have a lot of cool techniques in this one because we want to accomplish building a title incredibly fast, but also talk about title hierarchy when you're working with a lot of information. So we have a handful of titles here. When you're working with a lot of information, you wanna create a hierarchy of that information. So for example, your most important information should be the largest and the boldest uh, when you're laying out your titles. And you'll see everything here is left aligned because it's easy to read alignment left titles rather than, than it is to read you know center titles or even right aligned titles because we read from left to right. So when you have a lot of information, I generally like to keep things from left alignment. And then we have this hierarchy where the most important information you see at the top, we have our subtitle or secondary information. And then we have, then maybe you have a lot of extra text that needs to be read. Well, then you can put that at the bottom and in a smaller font. So how can we quickly animate this? Well, I'll come here to the top, grab the rectangle tool, I'll make sure fill is turned on this time and stroke is turned off. And I'm just gonna draw out this rectangle box and I'll put it underneath everything. And I'll open up the rectangle one, go in the rectangle path and I can break the chain for the size and I can readjust the size of this box however I see fits. And you can break up the hierarchy of information by say bringing one of the smaller text and bringing it down and creating this like gap here. And that'll just kind of make it easier to read everything. But we can actually use this box to animate all the titles in really fast. So what I'm gonna do is come here to the beginning of our timeline, add a keyframe for size, move it forward in time, and then set, and set the size Y value to zero. And then what I can do is take all my titles, toggle switch the modes for the track mat, and set the track mat to that shape layer that we just created. So now the titles will only be revealed on by the shape layer. But then I can take my shape layer, go to edit, duplicate, 
and turn the duplicate layer back on. So now our titles won't be there and will be revealed in by the box. So this is a quick way to display a lot of information and animate it in really quick. Before we move further into the video, we have a sponsor, and that's us. If you use After Effects or Premiere Pro, then be sure to check out our Motion Duck extension, which has over 20,000 editable templates for your projects. For example, you can browse, import, and edit templates all from the Motion Duck extension. So you'll be able to save hours of time on every project while producing high quality work. You can also download our free 100 template pack with the links in the description below. And if you purchase anything from our website, you will be supporting our channel, so thank you very much. So in our third title example, we have a lot of cool techniques because it's all about working with big titles and also adding in some extra details around the sides. So when you're working with a big title, there's a lot that you can do, uh, but you know, here's a cool idea. What you can do is take this layer, go to edit, duplicate, and I'll come here to our title window and we can turn it into a stroke by clicking the swap fill stroke icon. And then you come here to the stroke width icon and we can set down the stroke width to maybe like three or something. And then we keep our original title on, grab the stroke layer and kind of just offset it. And to quickly animate this, I'll go back to our animate in folder and we can grab, and I'll grab the opacity flicker and apply it to both layers. And then I can offset the layers in my timeline. And just another example, how you can quickly animate in your titles. Another thing you can do is if you have some secondary information, you know, you can place it around the sides of your composition and it's completely up to you if you wish to do that. And then you can add some more animation presets. So one of my favorite animation presets is random fade up and I'll apply it to the top title. I just like how that looks. And then I can apply another one to the bottom title. I can do like slide up by word and awesome. So we can add a lot of information and quickly animate everything fairly quick. So this last title example is gonna be essentially like a nice recap of everything we talked about, but the also recapping the thought process of putting together a awesome title design with a little bit of information. I'm actually using two fonts here to kind of mix up the design, which I think looks great if you're using two fonts from the same family. So these are all sans serif fonts. And the one I'm using here is Fire Sans Heavy and the other ones are Lotto Bold. So as always determine if you want your titles to be left, right, or middle aligned. And for this one, I'm actually gonna use middle alignment. But if I'm gonna use a middle alignment, I wanna make it easier to read. So I'm gonna add some graphics into our title. So to do this, I'll take my two titles here at the top and bottom, move them apart so I can have some space for a line, grab the pen tool, and I'll draw a straight line like this. I can increase the stroke width. And then what I can do to quickly animate this, instead of using a trim pass, I can just hit S on my keyboard for scale, add a keyframe, move it forward in time, break the chain and set the X scale to 0%. And this will just be a quick way to animate the title. Go ahead and make them easy ease keyframes. Then take your shape layer, duplicate it. We can bring it up and then I can just readjust my titles. One thing you'll notice is that these lines are the same width as my main title here. And to make my subtitle here the same width, what I can do is also just increase the tracking of my title to make sure it's the same width of that central title. And in my opinion, having that congruency is gonna make things a lot more readable. And that's one thing you should be thinking about when you're designing titles. So how can we quickly animate everything in a unique fashion? So let's say we want our two main titles to kind of animate in from each other and then have these two top titles animate in from the line. Very easy to do this. What we'll do is select all of our layers, hit P and keyboard for position, add a keyframe. We'll go big in for our timeline. And then we'll adjust the Y position to animate in from the direction we want the titles to come in from. Now I want this bottom title to animate from the top part of the composition. And I want this title to be here and our other title to come down. So here's what we have. It looks a little bit crazy, but how do we hide everything? No problem. So what we do is grow the rectangle tool and I'm just gonna create these like rectangles like this. Come here to my main title, set the track mat to that shape layer and then take my secondary title, set the track mat to the shape layer again, but this time around invert it. So now these two main titles will animate in from each other. And then I'll create one more rectangle to cover up the entire design like so. And then set the track map from my top and bottom titles to the new shape layer. And we may need to invert those, no problem. So by using shapes, you can quickly animate in your titles fairly quick. And remember, it's advised that you should turn on motion blur for all your animations. So here's our final example of putting together some really cool titles fairly quick. So even though we use After Effects for the techniques in this video, remember a lot of the concepts can be moved over to any software that you're working in. So if you're working with Premiere Pro or you're designing titles in Photoshop, you know, a lot of these techniques can be easily translated over. So always be thinking about how you can use these ideas for your future projects. But if you're new to our channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button as we post multiple post-production tutorials every single week and always be creating.